So guys, today I bring you 5 glitches and exploits for Diablo 4. You want means of earning infinite XP, a legendary loot and much more? Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So today guys, I bring you crazy exploits, glitches, tips and tricks to use within Diablo 4 and no doubt these will help you on your way. Now by the time you've watched this video, some of these may be patched, but hey, I'm pretty sure you'll find out within the comments section. Okay, so let's get into it guys. So there is a new dungeon reset glitch for solo players. So we all know about the dungeon reset method. If you are in a party after said dungeon has been farmed, party host leaves the party from the social menu. He then spawns outside of the dungeon. He invites his pals back into his party. You then re-enter the dungeon. Everything will have respawned. Solo players, after you have farmed the dungeon, you simply leave the dungeon. Then you quit out to the main menu, load back into the game and re-enter the dungeon. All enemies will have reset. But guys, there's a new method for solo players, meaning they don't have to quit out to the main menu to farm said dungeons. You just simply leave the dungeon and re-enter it and everything will respawn. So to do this guys, you need to have a nightmare sigil. Anyone, it does not matter. Then you need to use said nightmare sigil. Then go to said nightmare dungeon and complete the very first objective, whatever that may be. Once you have completed it, the objective on your screen will change. When this happens guys, you can now farm any other normal dungeon in the game without ever having to quit out to the main menu to reset the dungeon farm. So if you plan on farming for a few hours, this will save you a ton of time. It also doesn't reset those XP potions. So yes, after the nightmare dungeon first part objective process has been done, go farm your favorite dungeon. So farm the entire thing or just part of it. Then leave the dungeon as normal. If you play on console, press either up on your d-pad and then go to leave dungeon or just bring up your map and simply leave dungeon via this way. Then guys, once you're outside of the dungeon, walk back in and you'll notice all enemies will have respawned. Okay, so next up guys, much like the last strat, farming nightmare dungeons. This is pretty crazy. It's easily the quickest way to earn XP in this game as of right now. This means you can farm uh, nightmare dungeons for those increased XP gains. Now, what I recommend for this one is you using a sigil which will make said nightmare dungeon two or three levels above you. Now, the Oculus allows you to craft them, but to know which ones you need is a little bit tricky and you will have to use that quick maths. So tier 1s I believe are between level 50 to 53 enemies which will be in said nightmare dungeon. Tier 10s I believe will be around a level 60 to 63 or 4. So yes, work it out guys, my name isn't Carol Vorderman, I am rubbish at maths. But you want a dungeon to be at least 2 or 3 levels ab above you which is the best way of earning quick XP because enemies won't be too hard either. So once you have a sigil in your possession, use said sigil that spawns in that nightmare dungeon. Then simply guys, go to that nightmare dungeon which will appear on your map. Once you are here, enter the nightmare dungeon. Once you are inside, simply leave the dungeon door, the way you just come in. Then guys, you need to go to any other normal dungeon on the map. It doesn't matter what one it is. Go inside any other dungeon. Once you're inside, you need to complete the first objective, whatever that may be. Do it so the objective on your screen changes. From here guys, head back to that nightmare dungeon. From here guys, you can farm this dungeon and earn infinite XP and loot. But there are only two rules. You cannot fully complete the dungeon, nor can you quit out to the main menu. Doing evil will break the cycle. So if I were you, farm up until the last boss, then leave and re-enter. If there's no boss, don't fully complete said objective. But yes, doing this guys will level you up much faster than any other strat at the moment. It is pretty crazy. Again, you can just simply exit the dungeon. Once you re-enter the nightmare dungeon, everything will have respawned. Craziness guys. Okay, so next up people, we have a How Tide event reset exploit. This will allow you to farm infinite cinders XP. 
loot from those chests and so much more. So this is how this works. Some of you may know about this uh, to an extent but probably ain't abusing it like you can. Ok so during Howtides if there's an event simply do said event. Then guys if there is a dungeon next to you or nearby simply enter that dungeon. Wait between 5 and 10 seconds then simply leave. If you do, 9 times out of 10 there will be another event here for you. This is because I believe it loads you back into another instance and if said event hasn't been done or it's in the progress of being done you can simply join in, slay enemies and earn loot and a ton of cinders at the same time which will obviously allow you to open those chests. Get that precious loot. Now the place for me where the perfect example of this exists is right here on screen. Now this dungeon is right next to where this event spawns in. So it's a hotspot. I literally did this 10 times in a row with only one time of me entering this dungeon and leaving for it not to be here. Then guys I simply went back into the dungeon, came back out and it was here. Now I'm certain this is a strat that can be used anywhere else on a map during a Helltide if there's an event right by a dungeon. So I do indeed make the most of this when it happens because for me it wasn't even about cinders. The XP gains are unreal here. These events normally are crammed with elites and normally if you master them, decent loot too. But either way guys, I mean do an event, any event, anywhere during a hell tide, uh, enter a nearby dungeon if there's one there, wait 5 or 10 seconds, come back out, the event should have respawned. Or like I said, simply try just if you're playing console, press down on your d-pad, it will teleport to your nearest town or your town, wait 5 or 10 seconds, go back through the teleporter and the event should be here for you but yes try it out and let me know what you think now another little trick you can use within how tired events is this farm i found which allows you to literally get an infinite number of enemies that will just constantly keep respawning it is pretty crazy check this out the how tides as you know spawn in different areas of the map but when it gets to this area right here guys you need to seriously take advantage of this spot it's utterly unreal for enemies grouped up elites and so much more. I personally was just using it for XP and at the same time was earning a shit ton. More than what I would within dungeons. So this can be used for both loot and XP. So when the Helltide takes over the dry steps area I seriously recommend you and your team if you have one go into that temple of Rot located right here on the map. Now I stumbled upon this by accident I thought I was just in an event where ads were just basically on a loop of spawning but that is not the case. The enemies within this small compact area have a stupid fast respawn time. This means guys you can sit here within this small area, farm them over and over and over for that beautiful XP or for those cinders to grab those chests and get easy loot. Now it is important to note that if loot is what you are chasing here, the chests that appear on your map will give you a certain kind of loot. But if you want uh, those mystery chests where you get sometimes up to 5 legendaries, maybe more, you need this map which you can see on screen now. Now there's a chance that these chests spawn in these said spots, but I'm certain they do reset after 20 minutes. So if you get enough cinders, which you will do here, you can open up 4 of these mystery chests at least uh, within this one how tide event and get a ton of great loot for doing so, but that's up to you. All I know is I farmed this spot non-stop for about 30 minutes. I easily got over 500 cinders and not even being efficient about it. Literally guys, just run in small circles and enemies seem to just reappear. If there's one section where they stop reappearing, respawning, run to another, take out the ads and then come back. It's total madness in here guys. Next up guys we have an infinite event farm. This will allow you to farm all balls and everything else you can get from those event chests. This will allow you to farm loot, XP, orbals, and you can do this event over and over and over again. So this is how this works and it's quite simple. This area on the map right here guys within dry steps, 9 times out of 10 has an event going on here. If you come here, complete the event, then press down on your d-pad and travel to your local town, wait 5 to 10 seconds, then travel back, the event will have respawned for you to rinse and repeat the farm. I did this for an hour straight guys and in only one instance it didn't work. What I did then was I simply went back to town via my fast travel, via my teleporter and simply come back 
and the event was here. Now I do believe entering a nearby dungeon can reset this, waiting 5 or 10 seconds inside the dungeon and exiting it will reset the event, as well as quitting out to the main menu and coming back. But yes guys, this is amazing for everything events offer, so take advantage of this while you can. Okay, so lastly guys, it's a neat little trick in regards to upgrading aspects before applying them elsewhere. So there are certain aspects you can upgrade. Anything number based like this one will work. Percentage based ones and those ones that are time based will not work. So the trick here is, and while the mistake people are making is, when you get a legendary piece and it has a decent aspect on it, most people extract the aspect straight away and store it for later. Well, that's a mistake. Because if you upgrade the item the aspect is on at the blacksmith before extracting the aspect, that aspect will then be a higher level and offer more when it comes to imprinting it on another piece. So if you have a number based aspect on a legendary which you want on another piece or you want to save for later, make sure you upgrade the said legendaries on before extracting it. Because if you extract it, then apply it to another piece. When it comes to upgrading that piece via the blacksmith, the aspect on that piece will not upgrade it. So yes, guys, if you have that drop, if you have that legendary, upgrade said aspect before extracting it. Then stash it. But there we have it, guys. Five plus glitches, exploits, tips and tricks for Diablo 4. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next. One.